WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Basil Chapman on this Thursday, the 16th of November. We're looking at the 3 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 124, 34,000 uh, and 867. Uh, very interesting because Walmart has really taken a dive. It's down 8%, uh, down 13 at 156. It was tootling along at an all-time high of 169 just yesterday. The S&P uh, probably has Walmart in it. It's a little bit weak. It's just down 61 cents at 4502. I'll explain this when I come back for the Tom O'Brien show in a few moments' time, other than to say, from an identifiable low, we look for four higher peaks, peak Ds, where other things can happen. A buy signal that's upgraded to a buy mode should go to four higher peaks. And here we are probably making a peak D today in both the Dow and the S&P. But then you include the QQQ, which is the index 100 trading vehicle, 385.48, down just 16 cents. Uh, 387.75 was the high of yesterday. We've got less than an hour. We've got an hour in which to try to make it uh, to increase that. Otherwise, it's going to be a very nominal peak B. You've got the IWM, which has been quite weak today. Now it's a little bit better. It's down 252. It was a little bit more a week, weaker than that earlier on. 176.26, down 252. Gold has been the star of the day. It's up 22. It's been up 22 for a long time. It's kind of sat there, up 22. I like up 22. It said 1986. But actually, if it starts to trade, in the 1996 area, that breaks this trend line, and that's going to be very positive. And the dollar's been pulling back, even though the dollar today is only down six ticks. It's on the 200-period exponential moving average in the daily sell mode. We have to wait for tomorrow to see if it goes to a sell signal in the weekly chart. We're looking at the bonds. Bonds right now are trading up uh, just over a point at 115 and almost a half. Uh, good action, and that means yields are kind of in the lower range. That's good. Crude oil just got smacked today. It's down 371 at 73.08. The 200-period moving average in the weekly chart is at 67. It looks like it wants to get close to that. So with that said, as I said, I'll be doing the Tom O'Brien show coming up, um, and we will also be interviewing uh, Tim Ord, so it should be an exciting hour coming, and we'll see how the market holds up because without the Dow being impacted by Walmart, we'd only be down just a little bit. <laughs> this is quite interesting. Be back in a few minutes. Hope you can stay. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. I'll be back in a few minutes.